I've had a few requests to post an image of this project and it's gotten to the point where it's at least usable so I figured I'd make a quick video to demonstrate how to use it. Here I'm using a Raspberry Pi 3 Model B, a USB hub and a card reader, a LCD display that connects the, to the Pi over the SPI bus and a button that goes to one of the Pi's GPIOs. So I've already got a storage device plugged into the USB hub and when I press the button it launches a script that looks for a memory card to back up and if it finds one it starts copying files. I'm going to speed up the video soon because this takes some time. One of the limitations of the Pi is that it only has a single USB 2 path so it's really pretty limited in terms of the copy speeds it can achieve, especially when going from one USB device to another. Another limitation of the Pi is that the USB ports don't provide a lot of current, so when you have power-hungry devices like a flash storage device or a card reader, it's not going to work so well if you plug those devices into the USB port of the Pi itself. For this reason, I'm using a powered hub that also powers the Pi. It's worth mentioning that I'm using a heavily modified version of Raspbian that's designed for field reliability. The scripts do require some configuration since they work off device labels, but it's nothing you can't do yourself once you load the image. Just remount the root file system for writing and then use nano to edit the scripts in slash home slash pi. And finally here it's done with a copy so you can remove the card. You don't need to set it down or anything, it's safe to just pull the power. I will put a link to the image itself, some basic instructions on how to remount the file system, and what needs to be changed in the video description.